Friends, I have got an upgrade for our awesome little Pixlr and Tinkercad keychain, so let's get cracking. Before I get started though, I want to say thanks for all the support. Super cool to see that we're getting close to 50,000 subscribers. Of course, you can always help the growth by making sure you share this video. And of course, let your friends know about HL Mod Tech. So real quickly, this was the initial project. We took this image and turned it into a three-dimensional keychain. You can see I have got several thicknesses. I found out that the user wanted theirs to be totally smooth. Let me show you how to make that happen. Step one is going to be to back out of the design. This was the project. I don't want to wreck what I've done, so I'm going to make a duplicate of that project. I am going to real quickly get the settings back to normal where the background is white. We've got shadows and I've got the grid for building. Once again, if you missed the original tutorial, you'll be able to find it in the cards or the description of this video. I'm going to show you a couple things I'm modifying. Notice I used the outline technique to make these letters a little wider. That way they fit perfect because there are little gaps in my originals. I'm going to instead cut it out with this one. So real quickly, I am just going to do Control D. I'll move this over and hit D to drop so you can see the process in a separate spot. I'm going to make it a hole. This is a brute force skill, but we can do it pretty fast. Bring in a cube. I'm going to change my nudge to point 0.1. That makes it easier to move it to where we want. And we're simply going to get it so that it fits inside that shape so that it can be cut off. There I've got the thickness right. If we look up above, that is all good, but there's a little nub out here. We're going to get that with a cylinder. When I bring the cylinder out, I do want the sides to be smooth. I'm going to just squeeze it down nice and small quickly. Get it into that space. We are going to match the height. So I want this to be a height of 1. And I'm going to click on this one and also zoom out and make the height 1. F to fit view orbit so we've got a little bit different view you can see that is totally going to be cut there is a little bit of this one that was not we can move that up just like that friends when we select these three shapes and do control G to group we've all of a sudden got the perfect letters to fit in this spot all right so to send this to bamboo labs I found that we still need four separate pieces and then we just need to get our heights the same so I'm gonna take the entire keychain notice right now I've got the gray and I'm going to give it a height of 2. That's going to be how thick the keychain is. Now, if we send it with these two pieces coinciding, it was giving me issues. So all we're going to do is take this black one, and we're going to do Control D, and we're going to make it a hole. Now, when we shift select our gray one and do Control G, it cuts out that edge. Now, if we hide the black one, you'll notice this almost worked perfect but it did leave a little edge around it. I am going to choose to get rid of that with brute force. It goes reasonably quick. I'm gonna put the work plane right on this flat edge so my pieces come out like that. I'm gonna bring this out and set it on that edge. So I am just going to bring out a cylinder. I'm gonna shift squeeze it to make it quite small. Let's go something like one millimeter and then I'm gonna make it oblong. Now I can bring this over to the spot where I wanna put it and I can just rotate it till it covers exactly that spot. It's that easy. It is brute force though. Once again, control D, drag it where I want it. Let's do F to fit view, look at it from above, and we can simply rotate it into place. Once again, we don't wanna cut out other spots, so we just push it to where it's gonna only cut what we want. Control D. Rotate. Done. I'm going to go back to this one, Control D, because otherwise it memorizes the steps. Control Z if you make a mistake. Rotate. That one's done. Control D. Rotate. If you miss, make a mistake. If you make a mistake, just do Control Z. And continue that skill all the way around. One last double check to make sure we've got all of them. I think that looks good. We're going to hide this one. 
we're going to cut out this HL because we don't want it. I'm going to set that on that same spot. Squeeze and adjust until it's all inside there. Select it all and let's do Control G to group it. Bingo. They are all trimmed. You'll see there are little marks on the edge, but we will not see that at all because it will be under those black parts. So that gives us two shapes completed. Notice if we hide this, we still have the shirt that we need to cut out because those are duplicated. So once again, I'm going to simply do Control D. I'm going to hide the blue one. I'm going to make the next one a hole. And now I'm going to shift select those two pieces and do Control G. So the black one is cut out pretty well, but we do need to get rid of these little pieces in the middle. We're going to do this with a cylinder. Once again, I set the cylinder down. Use the black handles to squish it. And we'll do Control D and make one more tiny one to get this little corner here. I'm going to give it more sides so I can be a little more precise. And then simply just drag that part into place. Shift click to get two shapes. Shift click to get the third. Control G to group. At that point, friends, we can do show all. And we've now got the same height for these two. We just need to adjust this one to the same height. I'm going to set that to one millimeter thick. You can see that lines up perfect. Let's bring this one over. D to drop. We need to make it one millimeter thick as well. And then simply nudge it into place. Put it on the bottom. And friends, that is our flat 3D printable keychain. Let's get it ready to send to the printer. First, I'm clicking the gray one. Export. STL. I'm going to call this Narwhal 9 Base. Uh, yes, I have printed it about that many times. Now let's click the outline, repeat the steps, export STL. And instead of base, I can double click because I had that space there. And I'm going to do out for the outline. Let's click on the shirt, export STL, change the name to shirt. If you add that space, it lets you double click. And then finally, export STL. Double click, change it to letters. Add the space just because it's easier later. And bingo, parts are ready for Bamboo Lab Studio. All right, friends, so in Bamboo Lab Studio, we're going to start a brand new project. I'm going to discard my modified values and let's grab our parts. Once again, I store mine all in my 3D modeling folder. Here are all of the Narwhal 9. I can just hit open, and I do want single object, multiple parts. I did just modify my colors, so I'm going to go to device mode. This one that says it's the bamboo PLA white is now a bamboo PLA orange. I'm going to hit close on that, and notice it did update. I am using a generic PLA out here. Let's return to our prepare screen, switch to object mode. All right, I want to get those colors right, so let's sync them. Now, right now, it shows that one is being all orange. We're going to split these up. I'm going to make the letters of the shirt orange. I do want the shirt to be blue. Click, click, blue. I'm going to make the outline green, and we're going to make the base of the narwhal gray. I think that is going to look pretty darn fun. Now, the user did also want this to be super smooth. So let's go back to our global steps. And I'm going to enable ironing. This is going to slow the print down quite a bit, but it's going to look pretty cool. I'm going to switch to top surfaces. And then I'm just going to stay with the default steps. And bingo, we're all set. Let's hit slice all. Slice was fine. And check it out, we'll have a sweet new keychain in about an hour. Let's hit print plate, double check the colors, and send it to the 3D printer. It takes a moment to download. Of course, once it completes, you can hit play. And we can monitor the process from afar. And after about an hour, we have got an awesome ironed keychain. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I want to say thanks to Kelly. It absolutely makes my day when I'm able to complete projects that help other users. Of course, friends, I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.
Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I do have a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of awesome categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down below there, you will find my class, Tinkercad in 20 days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. This video explains everything, but I do want to highlight at the bottom is a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It'll get you 25% off any class at cadclass.org. You can visit that site by simply clicking visit now. I do also want to highlight this sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Don't forget also there is a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell. You're going to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.